Hey guys, welcome to Hannah's Backyard. Um, I thought I would do a quick little video um, of my greenhouse. We made a little bit more progress. Uh, the garden is back there. I could maybe, I'll do a little walk around video. Um, but things are just very slowly growing. Um, and I'm not, still not the happiest with how the garden's going. But anyway, let's talk about the greenhouse. So let's turn this around. Okay, so we have gravel coming in. We have it ordered. Um, so we're going to level this off through here and fill in the inside. So I have these laid out here to kill the weeds underneath. So I have to basically swap it over um, because we're getting this gravel fairly soon. There is a gravel base already. We just have to fill in a good few inches. So it'll drain really well. I... I'm going all the way around and then we're gonna have a little area here I'm probably gonna put like my potted plants here and on the other side I'm gonna have a door here and a door there on each side we do have the roof on if you can probably can't see it because I'm short but there's our roof it's gonna look so cute. My windows are all painted. We still have to do the inside back wall. We're gonna insulate that and then put this galvanized tin on top of that. And eventually we're gonna get a wood burner in there um, and a small diesel heater to keep it warm um, You know, overnight when I need it. That's what the diesel is gonna be for because it's going to be more efficient and uh, run better so um, I won't basically I don't need a huge wood burner in here um, I'd have to get up and restock it a few times a night more than likely so we're doing the diesel heater method there but yeah there it is next step is the gravel and then we're gonna get the windows on um, and then finish that back wall and we should be ready goal is before our first frost so I'm hoping we have another month. Um, that would be ideal, the way things are looking. I don't know if that will happen or not, but anyway. And here, I might as well just walk you out since I have you on video. I am still harvesting this corn. This is this sweet corn. I have to look and see what variety it is, but it is really good. Very large ears of corn, very large ears. Um, so it's going to be awesome for canning. I'm going to come back from Labor Day weekend and I'm going to can that immediately. Um, I've thought about pulling them now, but I think it'll still be okay. I don't want to lose it though. Um, I have an abundance of basil. This is just, it is insane. This is all like blue spice. And then I believe that one's a cinnamon one. I have an Italian basil over there, more blue spice. The pumpkin plant's basically dead. Um, yeah. These flowers are gorgeous. This is still the same. These have been here the whole season so far. They're huge. They're beautiful. They came out of the seed packet with these. <laughs> so they're obviously a different variety. Um, but I don't care. They're still very pretty. I am in love with these ones, though. Aren't they just gorgeous I got this variety from Baker Creek uh, along with this variety actually came from I think Botanical Gardener these are my favorite but they are very pretty but you can see they're the middle row these blew them away and these are just some regular ones back here smaller variety but they're very pretty my pathetic tomato plants that are still producing I have actually canned 14 quarts of diced tomatoes so I am getting something the the Amish paste is oh, up and over the trellis this is <sighs> a very odd plant but that's okay that's okay um, let's see, over here, uh, we got some basil, some marigolds that are coming up on their own. They reseeded all on their own. These ones are the ones I started from seed. 
These are the biggest marigolds I've ever seen in my life. I've never ever had a bush get quite this large. They're just, they're humongous. Um, some melons. They're actually starting to spread. If I could have, I should have been making them come up the trellis so I would have had my melon wall like I wanted. We have been getting a couple of the start relays. None of these ones are, I'll attach a picture, but none of these are um, ripe yet. These are actually very cool on the inside. They almost look like tie-dyed. They're very cool. I've finally been getting, like, picking them early enough that they're not rotten. But it looks like the plants themselves kind of stalled out. There's no flowers on any of it. And then up at the top now we're starting to get more flowers. The beans got away from me. So these ones I'm just going to save for seed at this point. And all of the cucumbers. I picked everything. And now there's more that need to be picked. Like these are ready. The mosquitoes are really bad so I'm kind of rushing through this. These are, this is all basil again. Some zucchini that I'm really hoping I can get zucchini off of this time because I've only had four the entire season. So I'm very much excited about this. If you guys could smell this right here, especially when the dog walks through it, this is the most remarkable smell ever. It is just, it's basil. Basil. And then I got some kale over here, but I'm not smelling that. And I have a bug in my hair. Probably coming off of my cucumbers. So yeah, this is another little chunk of zucchini that I started, but it's not doing as well as this stuff over here. And yes, I still have to pick the cabbages. More basil. So yeah, that's that's the garden. That's what we've got going on. I got some peppers. I've already made um, pickled banana pepper slices. Um, but I gotta come through and pick all these green peppers and get them frozen. These I have pulled off the leaves from the bottom, hoping to get the Brussels sprouts to grow, and it is working. I'm not sure if you can see this. They are definitely growing. I got more broccoli coming. I'm gonna have to harvest this so I can freeze more. Wow, this stuff's beautiful. And my corn, that's done. You can see how yellow it is. And with that, I'm going to say goodnight because I'm going in the house. These mosquitoes are driving me mad. Hope you guys have a good one. Also, make sure to like the videos and subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying this. Um, and I hope you guys have a good one and we'll see you later. Bye.